This is a quick step into the project of building a simple character with primitives. First of all, what are primitives? We see on the shelf here inside of the Maya user interface, under polygons, we've got primitives at the start of the shelf. And these are icons, they're visual, so if you click on them, they'll, they'll do what you, they'll execute. Here are surface primitives. These are NURB surfaces. And the standard method is to create either NURBs or polygon primitives. And for now, I'm going to show you how to build this simple character with polygon primitives. I'm going to tear off this sheet of polygon primitives by clicking on the dashed lines at the top. And then I can move this floater off to the side here. Notice. I've got interactive creation turned off. It's usually on by default. And with it off, if I click on sphere, for example, it puts it in the center of the scene where I can move it up by changing or typing value in or with the move tool. So the W key brings up our axis and I can give it a specific value here by typing it in and hitting return. And then what I want to do is, is give it a name. So polysphere, I'm going to call this head. Then I'll get a cube and it's currently selected. You can tell it's green. I'll grab the, the Y axis arrow key and then select the R for scale. And then in the middle, scale all to give me some volume for my cube although I want the chest to be a bit flatter and the next thing I'm going to get is a cylinder what I want to do is uh, change where this rotates from right now notice it's in the center of the object which is logical and with the W key we see our arrows by holding the D key down, we can pull the the center up. Okay. Notice also under inputs, and this is true for all of our primitives, there is the name. If I click on inputs, I can change the size, for example, radius by middle clicking. So that's about the right proportions for an arm. Uh, I'm going to take the subdivisions for cap down to zero. Notice it'll take all those extra faces away. And also, I've got 20 subdivisions. I'm going to take that down to something much simpler. Like, let's go with 10. And then W. Uh, notice how my center has changed a bit. So let's pull this up and then hit the E key for rotate. And then click on the axis that I want the rotate to occur and it should lock hit the Z key to undo that when in doubt and then we'll get this out about you know arm parameters what we're building here okay so there's our arm with our axis off to the side um, I'm gonna duplicate this with control D and then I'm going to move the duplicate out and down. With the A key, we can examine our where we're at with things right now. And so go ahead and build your character out. You can also watch the video that I've supplied. It's a bit more lengthy than this, but there's a lot more detail. So you have plenty to learn. So here's the simplified version. And good luck with making, building out your character using proportions of a standard human being.